We'll start off with that. Matt Ryan is being traded from the Atlanta Falcons to the Indianapolis Colts. That happened late on Tuesday of, uh, excuse me, late on Monday. Uh, This is the Tuesday show. And uh, it appears that he is being traded for a third round pick in the 2022 NFL draft. That appears to be one of the picks that the Colts got from the commanders for Carson Wentz. And, uh, you know, the odds shifted from 30 to 1 to 25 to 1 for the Colts to win the Super Bowl next year. Uh, this was a little bit surprising. Uh, none of the details have emerged as of yet regarding the cap hit. Uh, what the Falcons are going to pick up regarding the contract as opposed to what the Colts are going to pick up, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, give me your thoughts on this. What, what have we got going on with the Colts and the Falcons? Um, I think Matt Ryan is a huge upgrade from Carson Wentz. That, that is clear and evident and, and, and straightforward. Um, I, I'm curious. I know that the Colts were one of the teams that were interested in Baker. We'll get into that next. Yep. But – uh, I, I'm very curious to see, hmm, do they think Matt Ryan is an upgrade to Baker? And then I was trying to put myself in that situation. Uh, salary-wise, there's – look, Baker's got his problem. Baker's got his flaws. Salary-wise, there's no way on earth I'd pay the money Matt Ryan's paying that when you could pay it to Baker. Baker's making Agreed. substantially less, I would guess, than Ryan. Um, I haven't looked at the contract. Well, he's still under team. he's still under a rookie deal, so he, he's on his rookie deal, but he's in the fifth year of the rookie deal, which is the big money deal. Yes. Um, and 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 I just have to assume though, even that big money deal here is substantially less than what Matt Ryan's making. And is that is that better? Um, maybe the 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 Browns are looking for a better draft pick than than third rounder, and that's why you know they went with the Ryan route, but. Um, you know, it, it's hard to look because you can't look at these things in a vacuum. You have to look at them in context of what they are. And and so, uh, player wise, I think they got a massive upgrade. I think in Frank Wright's system, a guy like Matt Ryan will flourish and he will do really, really well. I, I, I like that move for them a lot. Uh, Baker is this year set to make $18.8 million. Oh, wow. And, 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 and is Ryan in the 40s? Uh, yeah, it's in the 40s. Yeah, so it's a monster, like a just, just a good, yeah. So, so I would take Baker in this fall. I would take Baker at half the cost right now. Well, and see, that's no that's what we don't know about the financials right now. Like, are are the Colts going to pick up only half of that contract, and the Falcons are well, going to pay the rest, or because we've seen now, if stuff we like find that. out if we find out that the Falcons are eating some of that money, then 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 we're having a different conversation. If the money's equal, I would take Ryan over Baker. That I, I would do that. Yes. And I, I tend to agree. I tend to agree. I think, uh, it's, I think, I think good. it's close enough to where I'd have to look at the money and I'd have to look at the draft assets that are being traded. Uh, Matt Ryan this year set to make. Ah, okay. So his, well, Spot Rack has already come up with, uh, looks like his cap hit for the Colts is going to be $28 million. His roster bonus, $7.5 million. Uh, or no, 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 sorry, for 2022. Uh, it's going to be twenty three point seven five million. Seven point five million is a roster bonus. Uh, Sixteen point two five million is the base salary. So his cap hit for oh. the Colts is only twenty three million. In, in that and situation, I, for some reason, I thought it was a yeah. huge number. It, like, it was uh, for uh, for the Falcons. For the Falcons, it's like a forty eight million dollar number. Okay, that's that's what I, I was going to say. Man, I know I couldn't be off by twenty something million dollars. No, no, no. It's uh, for the Falcons. So the Falcons must be picking up some of that. They, this stuff has not. We're looking at it on Tuesday after, or excuse me, on Monday afternoon, and and we don't have all of the details of this trade yet. So we we know that money can be moved around on these contracts, um, but it, it looks like the Colts have got him for two years locked up. Uh, his cap hit next year is going to be twenty eight million. Uh, that's nothing. That's nothing to pay for a quarterback if if he's actually doing a good job. And, and, and so, in this context, then, better deal than Baker because you're going to have to pay Baker. So, yes. Baker is going to get a new deal. He's a one-year deal. You trade for him. And, 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 and I'm bringing him up because he's the obvious other option that would have been in this conversation. And 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 you're only getting him for a year to the two. And you know that second while this first year, probably getting a whole lot cheaper uh, than than what you're paying now. Yeah. But, but that second year, would be a lot because he ain't signing a one-year deal. Yeah, no, you uh, you're right about that. 
you are right about that. So let's talk about where the Falcons are going after this. Uh, all reports point to Marcus Mariota possibly going to Atlanta, join back up with Arthur Smith. Of course, Smith was the offensive coordinator for the Titans the year that Mariota got benched for Ryan Tannehill. Now, that's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, you know, obviously it's not some kind of grand reunion or anything like that, but these are two guys that are familiar with each other. Uh, there are, of course, reports out that uh, the Falcons have really been doing their homework on Malika Willis. They do have the number eight pick in the NFL draft, and we're only about a month away, a little over a month away from the NFL draft, which I am excited about. Draft night for us is always a big deal. So obviously we will be here live for the first round, as we always are. But um, give me your thoughts on the Falcons quarterback situation. I, you know, Right now their quarterback room consists of Felipe Franks and Josh Rosen, do they go out after a Marcus Mariota? Uh, do, do you think that that makes sense for them? Or uh, do you, do they maybe draft a guy this year and just go ahead and, and put his feet to the fire? Uh, I, I think there's a chance they could do both. Because I think Marcus is going to get a one-year deal no matter what, right? Like, if they yeah. went and got a, a one-year guy like a Marcus, uh, you know, so I, and I think he's probably the best available at that cost, Yeah, um, in my opinion. Then, um, then you know, I think that's okay for them. I think that's a good deal for them. And you still draft a guy because you only signed a one year basically stopgap. If the rookie comes in and the rookie's ready to play, then then you got no problems, you got no questions, you got no issues. You go to work and and you start the rook. If, if you you know don't think he's ready and he's fit for a year, you got a guy like Marcus who can run your offense. You're familiar with him. And if you're going to get a Malik Willis then Marcus is the guy you want to draft or, or go sign. Because you can – not that they're the same guy, but you wouldn't want to sign an Andy Dalton yeah, and, exactly. and, and draft a Malik Willis. Because now you're you're trying to teach everybody in your system two completely different offenses. Yes. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.